Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel in part two of the February Junk Journal Marketplace Challenge using certain digitals from my shop and we are using inspirational butterflies. I'll show you. Sometimes it's easier to see it. Inspirational butterflies, pretty florals, British butterflies, ledger bouquets, and beautiful petals. So you can search for all those in the website. You can find them, uh, most of them printed and digitally as well. I have already announced uh, March's and April's. So here's March's um, digitals and here's April's digitals. And there's dates on there as well. So you can pause that, copy it down, send me a message, um, an email if you need anything, have any more questions. I'm going to say right now, it'll probably be loud in the background. I have three boys home from school. It was a half day today and I decided to go ahead and film another video, but it's probably going to be loud. I have more journals. This will not be the final part. There's still more than this video. There'll be a part three, probably a part four as well. So don't be concerned if you don't see your journals. I'm just randomly grabbing journals for this. So hold off on your emails of concern until I've said it is the final part. And then if you still don't uh, see your journal or if something's wrong, you can send me a message. So we are going to get into these beautiful ones. I believe there's still a few left in the marketplace from the first part that haven't sold yet. Maybe they'll be sold by the time this video is live, but you can check over there and all of these will be on the marketplace as well. So a very butterfly, floral, spring and summertime. There's a pretty um, like tassel binder clip. It looks like a decoupage cover with a butterfly applique. This would be from Jane Dilly. I love her work. I'm a true fan. Um, this is really pretty to see. This is Joanne's, one of her printed collage papers. I'm going to try to go pretty quickly through these. I don't know how many times I'll be interrupted by my boys, but you guys know the drill by now. So um, just lots of pretty things. The British Butterflies Ephemera, really pretty old 1800s book pages that are British butterflies. To me, as an American, I think that's really cool to see butterflies from Britain, and you can get that ephemera pack printed or digitally. There are three pages, uh, 27 images in total, I believe. So that's really fun to work with. I love her stenciling. I think that's so pretty. Gives you great surfaces to write on. One of the things about the challenge journals is no blank white pages. So the artists become really creative in using their inks and their stamps to grunge things up. And I really love that look. I think it is very, very pretty. Lots of places to write in her journals. These are the inspirational butterflies papers. I created those. There's six pages and they all have the same background this kind of, it almost looks like a paper towel and then there's some textile. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool background. And then there's different watercolor butterflies and they have inspirational quotes like take the first step. Very, very generic so that you could use them in pretty much any kind of journal for any type theme. Um, like this one, take time to smile. They're just sweet. They're, they're meant to be put into journals. Sometimes it's great to get a giant kit full of, you know, 20 different journal pages that go together, but it's great to get these little add-on pages so you can put them in the journals and wherever you feel like they fit best. So, so beautiful. There's a guest check collage there. Lots of pages. Another thing about the Marketplace journals for the challenge journals is they have to be at least 60 pages so they tend to be bigger and that is wonderful to to see some grand scale journals this is the next one I believe this is by Jane as well here's like a binder clip with this really pretty tassel this is a decoupaged cover it's got a pink butterfly on the front so pretty. I love how they're all so different, but you can kind of start telling which artist created what. Yes, this is Jane. 
She also used, this is Brightly Inked Florals, and I have different digitals on these. I have papers, I have envelopes, I have um, cut aparts, and there may be another one too. Oh, and stationery. But um, she added that, obviously, because it goes really well. You can purchase my Lifetime uh, digital collection and get everything. It's a really great deal if you have the money up front. If you know you're going to be buying a lot of them, it will definitely save you money. So pretty. This is the Brightly Inked Florals. That one is too. This is Ledger Bouquets. I love these bouquets from Avalon Rose, uh, theavalonrose.com. They were really easy to turn into a pretty paper pack. I've used it multiple times. It's a good seller. I know a lot of people purchase it and use it in their journals. Little British butterflies there, more of the ledger bouquets. If you're a digital designer, then I really highly recommend Avalon Rose, theavalonrose.com. Her work is incredible. Definitely, definitely recommend her stuff. So there's that one from Jane. This is the next one. Look at that flat, those flowers, butterfly, white rosettes, green fabric, a little doorknob closure. I think this is from Jane as well. Yes, it is. And she used Sweet and Breezy as an add-on paper pack that I have. Here's their little British butterfly. So again, very similar the way she's put them together, but super sweet. I like that we have different price points. We can't all, or we don't all want to, afford $80 journals or $100 journals or even $50 journals. Sometimes we wanna spend $20 or $30 and get a journal that we will use and we can go ahead and decorate it up. Um, and then some of us, want the really, you know, decked out $60, $70 journals. And it's nice that we get all different kinds in the marketplace for whatever your price point is. I pretty much promise you, as long as you can spend at least $10 or $20, you will find a journal in the marketplace eventually. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay. Next look at this this looks like a vintage linen there's a bird and flowers isn't that pretty i don't know who made this one so we're gonna see this is donna lee so pretty this is called butterfly this is joanne's this is a pretty florals it's a paper pack and then she's used the british butterflies and the ledger bouquets and inspirational butterflies look at all these different types of pages I think it would make a nice glue book with all the different types of pages or even playing with mixed media. Okay, we have a we have white pages. Let me see if those are they might just be a different it's kind of a different type of paper. It's more of a um tracing paper, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, because we get coffee dyed papers. Tracing paper doesn't count as a blank page. It's unique enough. Look at how pretty that is. Lots of butterflies, more tracing paper, book pages. That's the background page that you get with ledger bouquets. It's really hard to stay in frame when you're flipping through a journal. It likes to slide. Very pretty. Love floral book pages. I think they add a lot. And then she does watercolor. So she watercolored that butterfly. Isn't that pretty? She did that 2020 this year. She often includes a piece of her watercolor in her work, which I think is wonderful. So what a pretty vintage linen on that cover. Okay, we'll move that to the side. Next is this one, fabric covered. It says capture life's moments. I think that's a watercolor piece. I'm gonna guess Donna made this one as well. Yes, she did. It's called Botanical Daydreams. So it's a little watercolor of hers on the front. Isn't that pretty? 
I love the bird stencil. Whoop. Pretty. Different papers. Got some botanical book pages in there. Lots of the British butterflies. Just a, I like the buttons on the playing card. That's unique. There we go again. That's, I have to remember that idea. I really like that idea. Good combination of a ton of different things to look at. Different types of pages. Different colors. Bunch of little cutoffs and goodie pieces there that you could use for collage throughout the journal. Pretty. Some little bird ephemera that she's put in there. That might be from the ephemera pack Fly Free that I have. Collaged tag, little piece of her watercolor. That's pretty. So that's by Donna as well. I love the fabric that covers really pretty. Okay, I'll move this one over so we can grab the next one. Look at this. Look at the little uh, crocheted pieces, the buttons. It's a repurposed book cover. And then look at the goodies hanging down here. If you can see that. Super sweet. Metal book corners. This is by Tammy Son. She has such a sweet spirit. She's so kind and she's encouraged me more than once. Um, let's see what she's done here. Hand painted repurposed book cover, which has been sealed. It has wallpaper, fabric, vintage lace, vintage buttons and fiber on the cover. Buttons from a famous local lady who collected buttons for decades. That's really cool. Um, so she's used a whole bunch of different kits she puts on here. So you can look all these different things up. And she's added a little newspaper thing about the lady who collected the buttons. So how cool is that? Look at what she did here with Joanne's paper. This is the pretty florals. She cut an extra one out and glued it over to make a pocket so she could tuck a little piece of ephemera into there. So pretty. Find your happiness and grow. Little tuck spots, here's a bag. There's a little pocket with all these flowers poking out of it. There's a bird tag. Happiness blooms from within. Really like that. See how creative she's getting with the blank pages here? I love that. Look at that. Appreciate what you have. I love the little flowers peeking out everywhere. So thankful for you. This would make a great gift journal. The best day ever was today. She had important memories to record. She believed in the magic of journaling. See the beauty around you. I love this journal, Tammy. Look at all the little cutouts. So pretty. Some big images that she made to look like stamps. So sweet. all the little pieces of ephemera. Life is a never-ending garden of growth. Look at that. Coffee dyed papers. She made a pocket there. So pretty. Love how all the colors just come together so well. There are so many reasons to be happy. Your journey is never ending. I know this will find a very special home. Take the first step. Very inspirational. That is a sweet journal. Oh my goodness. Really love that one. Set that one aside and pull the next one. So we have an upholstery fabric covered journal. What is so nice about these plain uh, journals that are covered with fabric is if you are more of a minimalist to where you really just love the textiles of the fabric and the texture, then you're set. 
but this journal is really for everybody because you can layer up whatever images you want in lace and buttons and beads and you can make the cover your own if you prefer that so it's really you know works well for anybody's crafting style get into this beautiful lace okay this is from donna as well so another one from donna it's called nature's walk and then this is laid out similar to the other ones we looked at so i'll go quickly through it that's pretty the british butterflies the pretty florals lots of coffee dyed papers to journal on book pages stenciling and tags little journal cards i love those vintage floral book pages look all the little envelopes and it's a belly band so you could tuck something behind that there's a butterfly watercolor she did I want to learn a little bit more watercoloring. I watched one YouTube video and played around a little bit and it was fun, but it takes time for sure. So there's that beauty. It's really pretty lace. I'm just never good at tying closures. Okay, don't fall. I have piles of journals. Don't fall. Peaceful country. How pretty that is. So I think that's a piece of wallpaper. It's all layered up. I think this is a wallpaper cover too. Like a handmade repurposed, not repurposed, but maybe car, uh, cardboard that was re repurposed and covered with wallpaper. Let's see. This is from Tammy as well. She'll probably tell us a little bit about it. Handmade semi-soft cover journal with vintage wallpaper, cardstock fabric, and a hand crocheted flower lace cluster. Gorgeous. So much in her journals to look at. The little crocheted pieces. She just layers so much. Look at the little pockets. Goodies you get. Book pages. She's got stuff from different kits. Look at that. Oh, that is so cute. So pretty. This is from my country peace kit. One day in the country is worth a month in town. Is this a, yeah, there's inspirational butterflies. There's ledger bouquets. Yep, this is, I was like, maybe this isn't a February journal. She just did a really good job incorporating so many things into this journal and whoever gets this will get to spend more time looking at every little piece look at this that is so pretty and that's just like white paper that she's inked up to look like that gorgeous look at the little sheep oh three he's even tucked in there a little pocket in here and then that closes and then that opens you guys won't believe the low battery again i've charged my phone multiple times today i've just been too busy to leave it on charge for for that long look at that pocket there some recipe cards Oh, her layering is just incredible. Look at all the little hearts. It takes a long time to do all of these details. Pretty papers. She's got a lot of pieces from Country Piece. It's one of my first junk journal. Uh, kits. I actually created it on a tablet before I got my computer. Like Seek Peace and Pursue It. These are all from Country Peace. Oh, how gorgeous. A 
I think she gets better and better and better, if that's even possible. The creativity is insane. So gorgeous. So there, it's Peaceful Country. And she even took those digitals and made it more country themed rather than just botanical. Here's another one. Look at how pretty that is. This is a journal card from Beautiful Petals. It's a clip. I'm thinking this will slip off, yeah. This is from Tina McCall. Tina, you comment on so many of my videos. Thank you for your sweet comments. Look at these beautiful pages. I love the rounded corners, little booklets, a little bookmark, lots of ephemera. This is just a, per this is my style journal, like lots of places to write, but lots of things to look at. Kind of middle of the road, not too embellished, but everything looks really pretty and flows together really well. Definitely my type and my style, what I would play in and write in, work in. Love your pink dyed papers. So pretty. Love your wide washi tape too. Very nice. I think that might be a heavy duty wallpaper. You guys know me and getting closures back on. <laughs> there we go. Then I've got this one. It says grow. It's got a pretty rosette. It's collaged up. It's um, fabric and cardstock. Red ribbon closure. Let's see who made this. Cindy Anderson. Definitely love her work. I'm a fan. You guys probably recognize her name as well. Very pretty. She made a bookmark, collaged bookmark. Really pretty. This is British Butterflies. Get her collaging. Little tabs. So sweet. Little notes. Little envelopes full of little die cuts. So pretty. More British butterflies. I like her colors too. It's a little butterfly charm fabric ribbon. A little burlap. Very pretty. It's kind of a little bit my style and how I create. Fabric flip. So pretty. Belly band. Flip up. There's a little, a little frog charm. Butterflies. Lots of different colors. If you don't have a favorite color, you just love colors, this would be a journal for you. Very pretty. We're gonna look at this journal next. It's wrapped in this, I think it's a napkin, but anyway, I'll keep it wrapped in that so you guys can use that to craft with. It is a fabric covered journal. It's got a little butterfly on the front, it has a little Velcro closure. This is from Teresa Rodriguez. Got British butterflies. Trying to name three of the, yeah, here's inspirational butterflies and ledger bouquets. She's used at least the three. Lots of other pretty, pretty, like, this is, I think, Digital Curio. I love her style. It's so recognizable. The little butterflies. Very bright, vibrant colors. Probably a laser printer would be my guess. It's 
very nice. Look at how pretty. I may have to get a laser printer again at some point. I had one and while it was a headache, there were some things about it I certainly liked. Probably get one in the future again. It can do really great bright and vibrant colors that sometimes you can't get on an inkjet. But then you gotta deal with toner and that's a mess. And the last one for this video is this little sweetheart. It's like a crazy quilt cover. It's all stitched up and kind of crazy quilted. This is from Julia Butler. My eight cousins, Louisa May Alcott. The pretty floral. Look at all the collaging, the fabric ruffle. I love fabric ruffles. This is from Feathered Friends. Ledger bouquets. all the sweet little additions and then it's kind of got pages from eight cousins which is super I love that story got beautiful petals so pretty look at that washi all the little goodies tucked in little fabric pocket this is definitely something I would work in Very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy all of these options. There's so many wonderful ones. And like I said, more journals coming. Um, there will be at least one, probably two or three more parts. Because I still have more boxes to open that say February challenge on them. I just haven't opened them yet. So we're getting through these uh, as quickly as we can without going overboard. That way we can get back to regular marketplace journals and make sure they have their turn in the sun as well. But I just love these challenge journals. It's so much fun to see the digitals at work and used over and over and over again. I hope you're planning to join the March and the April challenges and I'll see all of you in the next video.